looking at hard everywhere is the extent and nature of competition, the trends, what are the things that we need to do, what are the barriers that we can remove that will really facilitate and promote more and more competition. Uh, that, that is a key, important goal, and I think we have to be hard ahead of that. Uh, you know, we all know, we all work in this area, there are different parts of our landscape where there are perfectly understandable, natural, uh, economic forces that drive uh, 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 toward fewer competitors. Nothing evil about it. It's a, it's a, it's a natural, understandable consequence of the market, uh, and it's what uh, creates a need for government agencies in an intelligent, thoughtful way to say, uh, you know, we see some dangers here, we see some actual practices here, or some actual market structures here that are inconsistent with competition. We need to understand this. I'll say one other, one other thing about this, because uh, uh, I think it reflects how we're trying to tackle these issues at the FCC. Um, one of the first things that the Commission did after I got there was issue a, a wireless competition notice of inquiry. Uh, used to be called a CMRS notice of inquiry, but uh, I was tired of asking what CMRS stood for, so we called it a wireless one, people understand. <coughs> but what were we trying to accomplish with that? Um, we think that the FCC can, over time, lay out analytical frameworks, competition frameworks, in various areas, subject them to notice and comment and full participation, and have them lead to better decision making, greater predictability and certainty from our decisions. It's, it's one of the ways that we're trying to institutionalize change at the FCC. Uh, we have some of our best people working on this, uh, and you'll see us in various areas